It's time to imagine better health with CHI Health. Remember the movie Patch Adams, inspired by a doctor with this incredible personality? Our next guest reminds us of that. He talks to patients during surgery, sings to them. He's even created a few rap videos to help patients prevent injury. Here he is, Dr. Daniel Firestone is a CHI Health orthopedic surgeon. Yeah. Good to see you, doctor. It's a real pleasure to meet you. Yeah, Thanks, guys. Yeah. Yeah, we're going to talk about those rap videos in a second here. But let's right. talk, overall, w when you talk to your patients during hand surgery, they're awake, right? Right. Yeah, how does this work? So typically, so if a patient comes in and they have a condition where we would consider one, does it need surgery? And let's say it does, I usually offer them if it's a condition that's treatable with wide awake surgery, mm -hmm. that is an option. And I basically can discuss the risks and benefits of that. And then it's ultimately their choice kind of comes down to whether or not do they want to be awake during it or most people, if you give them the option, they'll say, yeah, I can handle that. Or I'd be much more comfortable just being, they say, knocked out so they don't know what's going on and mm -hmm. such. But if they're awake, just to kind of keep the tension in the room low, I'll typically chat with them the whole time and, you know, depending on the mood, mm -hmm. sing something for them. <laughs> <laughs> depending on Do the you mood. take requests? <laughs> I, I will ask for requests. <laughs> well, are you a singer? Did you grow up singing or were you a performer? What, well, what's I, going I grew up doing swing choir and things yeah. like that. That's but, terrific. And it, it, it keeps the mood light for it, the patients because they're absolutely. stressed. You know that. Absolutely. Yeah, you're exactly right. I mean, I sometimes take for granted the fact that for me, surgery is a day to day thing that I do. And then you have to step into their shoes. Mm -hmm. And, you know, even if they don't seem like they are necessarily stressed, obviously they are. And if you can just keep it comfortable and they've met me before. And if we're chatting during the surgery, they're more comfortable about it. And if you can, you know, make keep it light, it's a lot more tolerable. It's kind of a them. personal pre preference whether they want to be awake or asleep or not. But right. uh, when they're when they're awake, is the surgery uh, procedure the same? Is it exactly the same? It's the exact same. It really is just a preference. And so, for instance, surgeries that you can that I will offer to do wide awake would be things like a carpal tunnel surgery. Mm -hmm. So people that come in with numbness and tingling in their hand, and if the diagnosis is made that it is carpal tunnel, that's a surgery that I think is very safe to be done wide awake. And the surgery is the exact same. So. It's just a preference of, so if you're going to have any sort of general anesthesia, typically mm -hmm. the rules are you can't eat or drink anything after midnight the night before. Mm -hmm. So depending on what time of day the surgery is scheduled for, they may have been waiting a long time without having something to eat or drink. Um, other things would be, you know, do you have transportation available? So if you're going to have general True, anesthesia, yeah. you mm -hmm. have to have somebody drive you. So if you're doing the wide awake, one, you can eat or drink breakfast that morning or even lunch, depending on what time of day the surgery is. You can drive yourself to and from. Wow. Uh, so, I mean, it's, it definitely adds convenience mm -hmm. for, for that. But you don't see anything. You don't feel anything right. the, during the surgery. So, so typically what I will tell people, I'll say the two worst parts of the surgery are, one, just to feel the numbing shot, depending mm -hmm. on where that is. And so once the, the numbing medication is set in, then that part's done. And then typically to keep it so it's a bloodless field, meaning so it, the, it doesn't bleed while we're working, I'll have a tourniquet on the arm that mm -hmm. we're operating on. And that just feels like the squeeze of a blood mm -hmm. pressure cuff mm -hmm. during the, the procedure. So yeah, that can be annoying because that does squeeze sometimes. So typically what I'll tell the patient is if we can safely get the surgery completed in about 10 to 15 minutes, Wow. Then, I, then I think they can tolerate having that the clinic on quickly on, wow. on a carpal tunnel. Most of example? the time, you can. That's can, can you talk about? You, you touched on carpal tunnel sure. syndrome, but can you explain a little more in depth about what it is and, and then the procedure to to alleviate some of the, sure. the discomfort? Absolutely. So carpal tunnel is a condition where you're having some squeezing or pinching of a nerve called the median nerve, and that runs right down. It starts up on your neck, runs down your arm, and runs down into the palm into an area called the carpal tunnel. Mm -hmm. And the reason it's called the tunnel is because not only is the nerve there, but also are the tendons that flex your fingers. And sometimes that gets crowded. And typically, if people have carpal tunnel syndrome, what they'll feel is numbness and tingling, classically in the thumb, the index, the middle, and then the thumb side of the ring finger. Mm -hmm. Also, probably some achiness that comes on. They'll feel it more at night because when we sleep, we sleep with our wrists kind of curled mm -hmm. over, so that's pinching the nerve. So if that goes on long enough, and it doesn't respond to using a splint and things like that, and somebody may be a candidate for a carpal tunnel surgery where we make an incision in the palm, and then beneath the skin there's a ligament called the transverse carpal ligament, or I tell the patients the carpal tunnel ligament. Mm -hmm. Simply what you do is you release that. That opens up that tunnel, and it gives it about 18 to 20 percent more volume, so then that nerve's not being pinched anymore. Mm -hmm. gotcha. Are certain professions, my, my mom, for example, worked uh, in a dentist's office for sure. years and years, and it was like that small little movement with her hands, and so she started having problems. Do you see that where people in certain industries might come you, in earlier? You do, and it seemed to be... 
a lot of people kind of thought, well, is carpal tunnel always a work-related injury? Mm -hmm. And it's, you know, it's kind of a slippery slope to start saying that, but there definitely are some professions that can have that mm -hmm. more often. Do we see it too if you're typing a lot? Well, you, uh, you can't is say that, that otherwise you get in trouble. <laughs> <laughs> right. I feel it all the time, no, right? Because I, yeah. I type a ton it's, throughout the day and I'm like, geez, no. my it's, wrist. It's very common and I think it's most people would like to associate it with something, but in, in the end I tell them, you know, do you have it or don't you have mm -hmm. it and do right. we need to treat it? You know, at this point Thanks. you've got the condition and we should get it taken care in of. In 10 to 15 minutes, as you said, well, that's the crazy part to me. Yeah. So fast. Okay, let's talk about these rap videos. As we take a look <laughs> at the, the, the information here for Dr. Daniel Firestone, uh, we've, we, we've got to hear about your rap videos. What are these about? And are they really, do we have any? Do we, we don't have we don't any. Have any. No, I tried to find video online because when I heard about this, I'm like, this is terrific. So and something tells me you buried the evidence. No, I don't know. <laughs> so things you can find online recently. So I, this didn't have any rap in it, okay. but I just did make a, comp, a pumpkin carving safety video for the CHI website where there, <laughs> I might have dressed up as a vampire. <laughs> that so that's, happened. that's on there. Um, Let's put it this way. If we need to have something publicly made for CHI with some rap in it, I'd be happy to oh, do it. It's oh, it's on, is. Kathy. Where's it's the marketing on. people The decision at? makers in the room. Right? We want to see it once okay. that video is done. It'll be there. But it's, it even over. with pumpkin carving, it's about preventing injury. You're Absolutely. there to help when people mm -hmm. need it, but you'd also like to keep yeah, them that's, healthy. That is honestly where we need to go with mm -hmm. healthcare is, is the whole injury and health prevention. prevention. It's You're a right. pleasure to meet you, doctor. Thank you, Thanks guys. For yeah, us. Nice to meet you. Bring me back. I'll rap on <laughs> live on no, stage. No doubt about that. I'll tell you what. I'm we'll put a rap this. video together. Okay. We got it.